Now, before we get into the big national games, is Tennessee for real? Are they the cardiac balls? What's well, going on with you know, that? listen, you, you know, their record says they're undefeated. So you got to got to respect that. But they they're not exactly blowing people off the off the turf. So, you know, this week excuse me, this week uh, uh, they got uh, Texas A&M uh, at home. Uh, so that game, that's number eight versus number nine. So uh, that game should be pretty telling. They've played almost all their games at home so far. So it's still going to be another week or two before they get out of Rocky Top, before we really truly know uh, who they are. But, again, they're 5-0, and so you got to respect that. I, you know, they're still in, definitely in the mix, in the picture, uh, uh, until proven otherwise. Now there's some uh, big games, I would say traditional big games, right. with Miami, Florida State, Texas and Oklahoma. It's amazing. What's changed? <laughs> well, they, to paraphrase, they aren't who we thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were. They were who we used to think yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, like we was, you know, a decade ago, you know, that would have been must see TV. Period. You you shut down the house, closed the doors, and ran everybody out the room just for those two games. Um, those teams are still strong. Uh, you still got to wonder about Oklahoma and Texas in particular. Texas is not a top 25 team. Uh, they were for a minute. They didn't start the season in the top 25, got there. Now they're back out. Oklahoma is sliding uh, since they've lost to Ohio State. Uh, you got to wonder what's going on in that southwest part of, part of the country where, Oklahoma, where football is dominant. Right. And those teams aren't dominant. So you got to kind of wonder what's going on there. And then just flip the script a little bit with Miami and Florida uh, State. That's the same story there.